When we developed the Abicon series, it was really a result of technology being developed and uh, refined uh, throughout the years. Of course, when, when you work with our products, you, you learn things and uh, you know how to do things better. And we decided to take all these uh, things and put them together and, and make a, a real uh, top-end product. It's been some years since uh, we have allowed ourselves and our engineers to, to just uh, go for, for, for the highest uh, uh, performance and, and not uh, look very much on cost actually. There, there are some uh, expensive solutions in the in the Abicons. Wood fiber cones uh, are lightweight, stiff, well behaved and uh, we have a great experience with that. Uh, of course you need to balance everything, you need to have the right geometry, the right uh, coating and so on. But when you do it right you can get really good result of that. Another example that uh, are quite uh, uh, developed uh, within uh, Dali is the use of low-loss uh, technologies. We don't want to use the uh, energy from the amplifiers uh, to be transferred into uh, to heat, which is what happens when energy is absorbed in the moving uh, parts. Uh, one, one clear example is that uh, if you build the drivers uh, with, a, with rubber surrounds made of real rubber, well, you get what you should expect, a rubber that uh, stores no energy, whereas you could actually use other rubber types that would uh, absorb all the energy. Uh, it's easy to make a smooth frequency response with that, but at the same time you lose all the details. One of the things that are most remarkable to the, to the drivers uh, used in the Epicon project is the introduction of a new uh, material within the magnet system. For the Epicon, they brought a step further. That's the first product where this is implemented in and it's a uh, technology that we of course have applied for a patent on. Uh, the core thing is that we use uh, a powder um, called SMC, it stands for soft magnetic compounds. Um, it's small isolated uh, iron particles that are pressed together uh, under high pressure and we use that to re, uh, be used instead of some of the iron in the magnet system. So it replaces some of the iron, not the magnet. It runs through a couple of processes and when it comes out of the pressing tool it looks like this. Um, then it uh, goes to next process and next process and so on. So it's quite advanced uh, machinery you need to, to do it. In a magnet system like this, this is a cut through of a magnet system. You might recognize here's the place where the voice call is supposed to be. Some of the parts closest to the voice call are replaced with parts made out of SMC. Does it do any good for the sound? Well, yeah, we, we believe that we can hear a clear difference and, and we can actually measure a, a significant difference compared to normal magnet system. For me, it's, uh, it's been addictive. Uh, I, would, uh, I will have difficulties with, to settle with normal loudspeakers now.